Get your day started right. From our shack to yours, this is Coffee and Ham Radios. We are live in five, four, three, two, one. The show has not yet started on YouTube. I don't know what's going on over there, but we're going to go ahead and start here anyhow. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. I'm Steve. Hey, I got hey, my hey. friend Ape, Chuck, and Jim. They're all one person because I forgot to pluralize that word. We're going to talk about DMR and D Star today. We're going to go a little bit deeper into uh, code plug configuration and interoperability and all kinds of other I don't know. Interesting stuff. I mean, we we did prepare a little bit for today's show, but but not much. And I and I hope that nobody will notice. Is real re really where we're going? I don't even think Ape knew what we were talking about because he was out for Thursday. So, right. How you doing this morning, Ape? I'm doing a lot better, man. I, I don't know if everybody knows or not, but I had a case of the of of, of the of the Rona, and um, it was the first. It was my first time, so we, we get to enjoy it together. And. Um, it's it sucked, bro. I mean, I, I spent like three days in bed just like uh, with the – I had the shakes, the slobbers, the shivers, the shits, the sweats. I mean, I had all of it. <laughs> and uh, Just the S's, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it, I, we're not talking S's. about the T's. <laughs> <laughs> Alliteration. <laughs> so you can tell he's back. Look at that. Look at that mental right there. And uh, it was it was brutal, man. And uh, I just kept drinking Gatorade. and um, Electrolytes. It's got what apes crave. You know, I was going to do a, a bourbon flush. Um, that way I could patent a cure, but I, I never really got around to that. So, but, uh, bourbon I, flush. Yeah, tonight I might do a Miller Lite flush just to make sure I got it all out. <laughs> you, sure you know, it's gin and tonic. Night? It's the, it's that's the, the, that's the, the, the quinine in the tonic. Yeah. Yeah, but man, it was. Uh, it sucked. It definitely sucked. Didn't, didn't you do the Miller flush last night, man? You were all over me. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what you two do boys do? Yeah. Consenting adults and all that. Um, we're not I'm judging, but right. just. Don't on his it, key, he was a he was a keyboard one of those keyboard guys last night. I was. Night, I, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the neighbor's kid. I'm gonna get the and neighbor's kid to run up to the store and get me a get me a thirty pack. Yeah. Hey, some you smokes. Know what, just so you know, Abe, I just he's old enough, right? You on last night? Yeah, I figured I don't know you, if you were. That's like he says. You well, we gotta put that in. And I go. We don't need that. Zip ties are, aren't forever. Yeah, Chuck's talking about the we're bagging we're bagging up the um, the new Apollo antennas. Oh, you two are bagging, all right. So we just uh, oh, I'm we them up. Up. yeah, Chuck was bagging them up. I was for so, I was uh, being the foreman from a couple thousand miles away. Jim, I hear we have thirty packs. Are we going to open up the store today? Uh, yeah, we. It's the uh, the skeleton of it is standing by for the rest of the information from y'all. We need the awesome. instructions. I think is we need I need, the I need instructions. I need pictures. That's for you, Ape. For the rest of you, I need images for the web page. And some words that say how awesome it is, and you can tune space and change the path can, of the you space can station tune and stuff space. like that. The Near new space. winders, the extra two dB, I think, also. Right, right. awesome. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Our so, Chuck, show us the prototype you're working on. Show us the 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 so, first product. The first product. I'll show you most of it. Mm -hmm. Chuck so, is production. I'm um I'm back uh, office. So that's that's what it should look like when it's done. Let me get you soloed yeah, up there, Chuck. All full screen. All right, you all full screen there, my friend. Look at that. So oh, that's, that's sexy. Look at that so creamy we're, video. We're getting rid of some awesome. some extras. Like uh, we're only going to do one screw with the. In this time, we're gonna we're gonna show you that it's built to go out the back like that. Now there there will be some options later that we're gonna talk about, but for now, this is what it should look like when you're done, pretty much. That's nice. very professional looking. Nice. Look how clean like, that print is. I like well, that I've, Roid wrap. I was looking at his Roid wrap. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, so that's what happens when you lucky. do the I the multi jet fusion. Yeah, this this thing is really nice. I have to. This is the tell you the truth. This is the first time I've actually built one of our antennas for me, not one of my prototype uh, right. 3D prints. Print, yeah. which is which is and, and my my prints weren't bad, but they're not as nice as this. No way. You see, okay. we say print all the time. Prototype. We, we say print all the time, but that's because we're working with 3D printers to do the prototyping work. Right. This thing comes out in nylon multi-jet fusion. Yeah, it's 100% infill. And and one of the things I do for my kits to make sure I'm getting everything in is I weigh them in grams. And there is a little difference. I found like a... Chuck sits there with a triple beam. I, I do, man. Every, I, I, I bag it. Put I'm it on just curious okay, why, else, why Chuck bag needs it, a triple beam scale. It. It's like a it scene from New Jack City. It's like a scene right. His New OM Jack is City. showing. He's there in his boxers <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> Not sneaking any do, product out. When you do or he's out in the motorhome with his 
in his when underwear like with 32 his, kids with in a day on. sometimes sometimes it all looks the same i mean it's like i found one that didn't have a toroid in it you know it's like how do you miss the toroid well you got to do it during chuck, the show man chuck is the walter white i just don't have antenna antenna right now i got two things in the way he's got some breaking news there i forgot I about this that. stuff sitting here you know Harbor Freight parking lot store, yeah. Oh, look at that. I don't. Harbor Freight's a just a, a blessing and a curse, man. There, there are some really good products at Harbor Freight, and there are some really yes. bad products at Harbor Freight. Yeah. You know the thing about Harbor Freight? If you got a, a tool that you need, and you're only going to use it once, but it's an expensive Today. tool, get it, get it at Harbor Freight, and it'll get you through the first day, most likely. I did. Uh, I bought a, a pipe threader, and I've used it twice, and it still works. It, like was it the best pipe threader you know for black pipe for gas pipe no but it worked and it it, it threaded it's all the gas no big deal. i thought you were going to say you took it back after you used it that's what i i, was I know people that do that i, don't, I do too I, i've I never done that i can't do that that's not me so james in the chat is asking he says i wish it was half again larger and and we've got the crack and ape do you have both of them oh, I, don't I know you the got the big boy i got the crack and let me see give me a second loose the crack and so the, the original the original frame is designed for a 140 toroid and the Kraken is designed for a 240 toroid. Mm -hmm. So it'll handle more power. LCI I got the bright is, orange hammer. This is the original it. Artemis. Which actually was a really good size for if you want small. It is. And then here's the let me see if I can get this there. Here's the Kraken. Oh, Ooh. that camera's not big enough to get the Kraken in there. No, the Kraken. Let's see if I can scoop back. We, we've got some Zoom improvements out. to make to the Kraken. That, uh, <laughs> That's the, pretty. The, the part for the uh, cable mount there is a little bit wide. We yeah, it's got some, some final adjustments. Hey, Walt. Come that on. thing's going to be expensive to print. That's the only bad thing. It is. Because it's huge. It's huge. It's way bigger. Yeah, most of the cost of the, the kit is in that nylon print. But we want you guys to have a fantastic product, a piece of quality that you can be proud of when you're finished making it's, it. So. That's the thing the is like when it's, it's not going to warp or none of that stuff. So yeah, when it's See? done, you want it wouldn't it to feel like it's a like it's a factory made product. But the yeah. the other thing is that we do these so that people can get hands on kit building, familiarity yeah. with construction technique, and then experience with antenna modeling and building, tuning, and all that other stuff. So I mean, the the end goal is is that you're making your own antennas. Um, and this is just breaks. a stepping stone in the journey of being able to get to that point. And if it breaks out in the field, you'll know how to fix it, most likely. Yeah. I mean, well, the, that's the thing is they're, they're super modular. And what's interesting is like you see like um, like HOA ham, Bob, he took the design and modified it to fit his needs. And so like that's right. the other goal of it is we want it to be super modular so that, mm -hmm. you know, you can do what you want. Like I, I'd build mine a little bit differently than Chuck does just because I'd like to – I like everything to be super duper modular. So when I – Because I, I ain't Chuck. Well, I have like six He's different not. elements. I've got all the different counterpoises. I like to be able to switch them in and out and stuff like that. But not we're going to show you how to that. do that, though. We're going to show you how to do that. Your beard is better than his. Don't, don't be know. jealous, man. Like we're we're going to show awesome. you how to do that with with the way I have it right here. There's a, the part I can't show you right now, but we've got it, yeah. we've got it dialed in. So you can do exactly Secrets. what Ape is talking about. Folks in the chat don't have clearance. Some of you do, some of you don't. If you want clearance, there's a, a join button right below the screen here. Yeah, and, right. and I can show you on that a channel member. whenever we do that again. Well, that should be coming up pretty soon, actually. I will tell so, you that I will never show my toroids on camera because my toroids don't look I like think from now after on, I'm done with them. They look like they've or, been through the washer and the dryer. Well, One of the three time. of us is going to wrap his next time. We're just going to send it to him wrapped, ready to go. And he That's can just awesome. say he did it. That's right. <laughs> Embarrassing. <clears throat> Every time I wrap one, it looks like a blind monkey did it hey, in a I've hurricane seen, I've underwater seen that have, well, with mind. a rock. I've See, actually, when we scale it, when we put holes and stuff like that in there, I think it drives the price up because it adds complexity to the. Yes, it does. Um, we looked at that, <clears throat> changing out them holes, and more know. holes it's, is more money. I don't know. It's less about material, that. but they have to. It's not by weight, though. They don't charge us by weight. Right. I think it's by time to print, right? Right. Yeah. And, and then and see, those holes are thickness. not. Those holes are not to... um, straight through. Those are chamfers on both sides of those holes. So that takes extra time to, to do. You as and your well. fancy words. Yeah. He's never one chamfer. You know, they didn't make that word in Alabama. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. He got that one out of Kankakee. I did. I got that from Kankakee East. Kankakee is going to be a, a new a new uh, bingo square, by the way. That's right. 
That's where they do all the fishing, right? In like the in the, the can of key in the can of key salmon or something like trout or something like that. Salmon. Probably trout. I don't think there's no Ugh. salmon in the Kankakee River. There are there are speedboat races every Labor Day. Kankakee is a destination for this go fast, speedboat. die young, and leave a good looking corpse crowd. The mu the mullet crowd. Shoot, yeah. I'm nothing gonna die face Bud, down in some nothing dude's but pool. full on Budweisers and mullets out there on Labor Day. Nice. That's not no Bud Light, not no Miller Light. <laughs> Bud. Budweiser. Well, that, that's, no, that's a quality beer. I used to just drink Budweiser for years, and then when my wife would have beer, she would want Miller Light. So it started to get to be cumbersome to go and get you know Miller Light and Budweiser at the same time. So I made the switch to Miller Light. Do they taste different? Yeah, I, I like the taste of Budweiser. I think that hardly anything beats the flavor of a nice fresh Budweiser right out of the keg. But, Rice uh, beer. We used to get we used to get Budweiser at the bowling alley, but I, at that time it was so popular. They bought so much that I think it didn't get rotated. And every once in a while you'd get like get a yeah, bad skunky beer. It tastes, it tastes and so it tastes like it was over hopped, like most of the IPAs. Yeah, <laughs> I like. You can't say over hopped an IPA in the same sentence. They're they're hopped by yeah. design. That's over design. Supposed to be that way. So, what, oh, what the other thing we're going to start. We have a new uh, a new feature oh, on the shit. show. Prior to me coming on camera, try and guess what color shirt I'll be wearing. Because they were <laughs> doing should, that Thursday you come night. In with just, just like a, with like a. <laughs> the re, the oh, reveal, I could do I could do that. Smog, I could do that. A green screen. Smog and, on. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. You should do and, a, a green Mike, smock. I got one. So so it looks like it's only your only, only your head coming on. And right. So right. I just I have to I put this comment up and highlight it. I don't want to read it. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to put it on the screen for everybody <laughs> to make sure that we all got a chance to enjoy this. Hiking and Hammond, good morning. Speaking of good Hello. morning, good morning to Coastal I got Waves that, and man. Wires. Walt, good to see you, Walt. He's in the Czech Republic today. Let's see who else we have in the chat that we can talk to today. I'm going to scroll all everywhere. the way up to the top to the, the original ones. Covanye. Covain was the first one here today. We got Coffee and Ham Radio. It's posting a link to Toad's Andy? Discord. No, if you he did not beat Andy. Andy was here first. Andy was here like two hours ago. Uh, well, Andy's message dropped off the uh, the StreamYard chat. Yeah. So it does I can't, drop off sometimes. I, I know he's there in spirit, even if he's not there in, in text. So <laughs> Ape posted the link to the Toad's Discord. It's pinned at the top of the chat. If you guys want to join us over there, it is the friendliest place, this side of QRZ. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little choked up on that one. <laughs> what I have run into in the past week was a couple of people trying to explain stuff in comments on the YouTube videos, and I totally appreciate that, and I'd love to help you. But sometimes if you join us over on the Discord, you can send in a picture, or we can have a more flowing back-and-forth conversation in almost real time sometimes, depending on whether, you know, I'm actually making a video at the moment or not. So that's another way you can get in touch with us. We got Gary, W9FNB. Gary seems to hang out in the Coffee and Ham Radio's chat section only on the Discord. So, Gary, sometimes if you want to branch out, that's okay too, my friend. You know, Gary Speaking and I of met K2s, on World DX, and it kind of just, it kind of almost went away. Um, and I think Gary's loving it over here because kind of the same thing. It, for a place that had like cb and ham radio in the same place most of the time it was pretty good nobody really looked down on on the other that much a couple guys but those guys usually got kicked so well jim's still Just around so i think jim actually likes cb though we should find a segment of the ham community to, to shun um <laughs> gmrs folks of course yeah uh, that's it's a ham it's a ham community but right that's not real ham right i'd prefer GMRs. to pick maybe the eme guys the Anybody EME that gets on 60 meters. <laughs> right. right. I'm fine with 60 right. meters in EME people. All them POTA people. Who else do we have? We have Andy AA0AM. I, I don't know. I think they should either outlaw the zero or the O in call signs, but that's just me. I yeah, found you the... You uh, put that slash through it, you know? He wants that amp that, that I Theta. did a video on. The PAX100, I think is what it's called. The the one from... Um, the one from Zygu. Yeah. The one from Zygu. So I found it. I'll, I'll send it off. To oh, you. the little red one. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, just be careful one. with it, because like when I, when I notice when I transmit the SWR, it kind of bounces all over the place. You can't. You're yeah. not supposed to use a tuner with that antenna either. So. I mean, with it that is amp, a. It's a. It? It's an amp for real ham radio operators. So you gotta. You gotta actually. You can't just operate it. You have to. You have to kind of. You know, you fiddle with know it and play doing. with it and tune it and and do some stuff with it. So it's fun to experiment with, but 
experiment at your own risk kind of thing is what we say about that product. Yeah, I still cannot find that uh, Z, Z817 LDG tuner. I've been looking all over for it. That's my so favorite that, tuner. That's not the amp that Steve blew up, is it? Ape? That's a different amp. It's yeah, a different it's a different one. yeah, this one's way cheap compared to that one. Okay. Let me see if, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. It's yeah, it's a it's a toy. Joe Brett has not reported yet on whether he's actually transmitted on his amp or burned his shack up. He he has and he has not. Excellent. What did he What did he get? Well, he got thing. the eight eleven. He got H? the eight eleven. Yep. I don't remember. Yeah, he got the big boy. It made him. It made him sweat when he came back in because he was like. Oh, he was. Raining. He was sweating. He was sweating like somebody. Like he owed somebody money. Like when he really? carried it, or when he. Yeah, set he it up. he. Well, he had to go get a hand truck, and then. Dad, government, I need me a hand truck to. And if he oh, carried so he that, had to then... carry it from the inside of the. Yes, he did. <laughs> All the way out to the parking lot. Which is but part of the get... reason I did not jump on that big honking scope I was looking at either, because I was thinking. Oh, I'm going to die carrying that out oh, to the truck. You had a hard enough time carrying the gym bowl around. That's right. Um, but that's what you get, Joe Brett. I don't know. I don't think they sell it anymore. They have the you low power filter kit. They don't have the amp anymore. The PAX100. Here's Don. Hey, morning, Don. Morning, Don. A mile uphill both ways. That's right. Yes, that's right, Vern. He should have got you and had gone out with you. I'm going to make my friend who is on a scooter with a broken leg carry my amp, my amp out for me. Yeah, so Don convinced me to get one of these MPX P50M amps. So it uh, should be here in about a week. So this is the amp that uh, Which Ape's talking about. Oh, oh, that is different than the one you got. Yeah, I've got the XPA125. This thing here is exactly what it looks like. It's, a, it's an experimenter's dream. Well, I got to tell you, it says right here that it has pocket size. I don't know what kind of pants you all wear, but I ain't fitting that. Cargo in pants, man. Even what self-respecting ham doesn't wear cargo pants? Right. All right well, I'm right. just making sure. Spit oh ham, well, apparently Ape wears skinny jeans, Steve. No, 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 you no. no. I wear Taclay Pro 511, son. It's okay, the best okay. Because you because you rolling in that YouTube paper. That's why. Right. It's, right. Right. it's the best Big cargo pants YouTube you could paper. buy. Teflon uh, I, coated. I got LL Bean <laughs> cargo pants because the old lady buys these things. Say that again. 511. What what are they? I want to look these up. 511 Tac Lake Pros. The choice of public safety professionals everywhere. That's right. They go. Oh, nice. They go fantastic with my orange vest and my, my yellow glass and my yellow glasses. That I, I like wasn't going to say that. I was thinking that same thing right now. That's them right that. there. They got a rescue handle on the on the back left side. That's a DRD. A, oh, and you got the geriatric waistband thing going on too. That's Heck nice. Yeah. Heck yeah. Stretch, so a little bit extra room. Band. That waterproofing. As you spill your Miller Lite on you, you're fine. Oh, look at that. You can climb on a truck. I don't know if I can climb on the truck, but it's, you can with those pants. Those pants don't make you run faster and jump higher? Not me. I don't run. Those rear, those rear oh, slash man. pockets are pretty nice, but the uh, the belt loops. How are the belt loops? Because I, I find that the belt loops are a little too close together on some of the 511s. No, man, those belt loops are great. Now, I've had other 511s, but I actually wear these, and I wear the 511 tech. Like now, are, are, you, are you wearing a, a EDC belt, um, or are you wearing a regular belt? I, I use a piece of paracord. No, I, um, I, I, <laughs> I'm not I, I do have I do, I do have EDC belts, but I generally just wear a leather belt. See, I've, I swapped out. All my belts are EDC belts. Exactly. But uh, those pants are nice. Really? I love them, and uh, they're super-duper comfortable. And that big pocket you're talking about, that slant pocket on the back, you yep. can actually put a full pint of Jim Beam in there that and nice. go undetected. Nice. The old lady gets me. Uh, I'm, these are LL Bean, I think, Ooh. and I'm not. I'm not brand tossing here. I'm just saying that's what they are. She buys my clothes, so oh. yeah. I mean, they're <laughs> they're fancier than yours. I don't I'm know saying. if Greg's making a cheap shot or not. Oh, I, I need the ripstop too. <laughs> yeah. Rip stop too much, great. too much farm equipment around here. I do want to try these the Duluth Fire Hose Flex Cargos. I, mm -hmm. I heard that they're really nice. Duluth, they're, yeah, that's some thick really material <laughs> on these pants. Those might be. Yeah, the see, thing is, I like everything pants. to breathe. I like everything to be able to breathe. You know, and right. and uh, so right. tactical have suspenders. The, the other Andy is saying, "Where's the tactical suspenders at?" That's true, man. 
you get above middle age, you start being a ham radio operator, you're going to need some tactical suspenders. So I want you all to mark this. Ape said he's going to get sideways tonight. So I'm going to bother Ape in the Discord later tonight and start showing him pictures of stuff. And we'll oh, see we're going to see how much he bought. Yeah. See what I could get Ape to buy tonight later on. I'm going to freeze, son. Oh, Miller Lights loosen the freeze. For some reason, Jim's saying we're off topic. Uh, I'm not sure. Jim didn't if, say that. Not, no, not thump. Jim. Thump. Thump. So, Tio, I noticed you got a jacket on over there. Did winter start already? Yeah, okay. it was in the 50s this morning. My lordy. Good grief. Yeah. I got a fan going on me now, though. So I got I got the sleeves up and the fan on. We're starting the, the Midwest. You ain't got no fans. Day, oh, day production pr- progression here. There we go. Joe Brett says he, he don't like his 5.11s anymore. He's a, he's a Carhartt man. Oh, Carhartts, huh? There's a... There's a company that uh, f- 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 I can't remember the name. They, they, they used to be part of the same owners. I got one of their backpacks. They're kind of nice too. I, I've never had their pants though. I bought actually no. I no. I did buy a pair of their cargo pants. They're actually really nice. I was actually impressed how how well built they were. I might have to cut them off for shorts there, but uh... I had cargo pants when I went a bunch of them when I went to Hawaii because I was like the only thing I'm going to wear there is shorts, oh, right? Only. <laughs> Most likely. And then, uh, oh, yeah, looks good. Except I can't see without my glasses. I do like the... Um, Look at that. <laughs> I do like the Wrangler shorts at Walmart. I do have a few pairs of those that I that yeah. I'll wear from time to time. The camo yep. ones? The camouflage ones? Yeah, they have them in camo. No, that's Kyle you're thinking of. Oh, yeah, Kyle has camo. Wow. That's funny. Tactical suspenders. Watch with the pants. I, we're getting in touch with our inner... Fashionista. Go ahead and pull that morning, up, Tim, so we can see the see the straps. Yeah, let me do this. Let me do this. This is crazy. Tim, now this, Steve this is, is the pair that I want right oh, here. Look at yeah, suspenders. look at them, man. They got pad in the shoulders, and they got these loops really that go around your EDC belt too. Look, you can put your you can put your uh, your bow fang up there. It's, uh, see, that, that is that is kind of cool. I That's say. where I want my car keys. So they're they're you know flacking me in the in the man boob all day long. Hit you in the that face when great. you're running. Smack, 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 smack. Tell me what to they, do. They are pretty sweet, man. You get, like I said, you get your Balfang on there. All right, I'm going to drop a link in the chat for these because everybody needs a pair of these. Oh, Lord. C- carry on. Carry on. I'm, I'm linking. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Hollywood. Hollywood. All right. I'm done building. Sorry. Yeah, the guys. ladies was, do love the suspenders. Kind of out of there for a while. There was I'm a, a belt and suspenders of, guy too, Liberty. You, you there know, was a throw, fair amount of suspenders at the ham fest, I gotta say. You throw suspenders on in an ape shirt, you won't be able to get them off. Of <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the women are right. all over you. Well, That's I right. know that it's just like uh, Didn't Joe Brett cardigan that sweaters and, and suspenders back in like uh, eighth, ninth grade, I think, were the thing. But uh, Yeah. Now, r- around here, most people wear uh, overalls with nothing on underneath. So that's, uh, no, yeah, stop talking. Liberty, Liberty 511 is going to see a surge in their sales this morning from all 60 of you folks that are watching. <laughs> and they're going to reach out to Coffee and Ham Radios, and 511 is going to be our new sponsor. Right. That's right. <sighs> Liberty's asking about the, uh, the sponsorship. Red yes, blue. we are always on a search for sponsors. Prototyping antennas is hard. <laughs> Good morning, Larry. How you doing, buddy? So my uh, my ninety seven hundred will be here Tuesday. What? Yes. I oh, he was upset that I got that K two out from underneath of him. I know. I they they not, drift. That's they buyer's drift. Really bad. <laughs> that's non buyer's remorse. There I had to go buy something. That's the that's the best part. It is about not this K2. buyer's remorse. I've been want, I, I told you guys it's, I wanted a ninety seven hundred. No, it's non buyer's resource. Non buyer's remorse. Buy but you you just bought another radio you don't use. There you go, Jim. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. And when you're tired of it, we'll trade sizzle it. My it scope sizzle. I don't want Put it for back that. up here. Put it back up to you and sizzle put it. Put it up. Look at this. Look at this. See, if you go to a ham fest with Jim, you too could get a good radio like this right out from under his nose. Oh, my Lord. I, did. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, I had to bring it out special for the show today. Get it out of the, uh, get it out of the cases. I'm sure. He was looking at it hard. So what was the deciding factor in the 9700? You're like, I, I love the way that it drifts. Yeah. Shut up. You shut up too. Hey, you gotta pay money to get the drift, man. <laughs> no, well. Oh wait a minute, that's that's for cars. Drifting drifting cars is different. That's a good. It's two thing. meter, four forty. It does D star and it does satellites. So speaking of D star, isn't that like our topic for today? 
one what we have a topic i mean we're 25 minutes in and we talked about suspenders and apes gonna get sideways tonight and, and pants the, my pants COVID and Tactical pants belts well isn't isn't ape getting sideways that's that's an easy topic because that's almost every night chuck well, did talk really. about it's antenna stuff so that was like ham related what are you doing building <laughs> cleaning his fingernail clippings <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord we it's put like, his glasses on like playing cards with my brother's kids right yeah hey look at this uh thump order to sds 100 nice good for you thump that is an awesome scanner i love mine we're going to be talking about scanners on my channel tuesday night me and um this guy mm -hmm. I, I got the um i got that unit in uh, 125 did you now are your police up there are they analog still no they're not but a no, lot of they're the, still the, cup and string yeah the, the um the dispatch is patched to analog though so you can still listen yeah to it. yeah listen montgomery to montgomery police is well no i don't even think they're patched to analog anymore they're unencrypted on their main dispatch and then the rest of the rest of their channels hey, are all you, encrypted you muted me what the hell? you're not muted chuck you were you were just sucking stuff up up there no, no, that was a heat gun. I bet. That's I bet a heat gun. Heat gun. Yeah, yeah. It's not funny though. My, fa my favorite heat gun. I got That's the same funny, one. Man. That thing works great. It's awesome because it doesn't take any space up or nothing. It goes right in the old drawer. I didn't. I have a Harbor it. Freight one I bought like ten years ago, that still works. But the it has that one. It has that rubber thing on it, and it gets. It's like sticky on the outside now. You're yeah. supposed to take those okay. off when you're done with them. Um, <laughs> Don, Don says he wants to talk. Sticky. I didn't know he was a foamer. I did not know that. I didn't know oh, he is either. big time. Yeah, is he? D to me, that's a, that's a that's a defect, right? Like when you're into the foamings. I mean, I'm not making fun of everybody. I love all of you. Defect. But just, when you stand around just waiting foamers. for the train, <laughs> I didn't know until like last week y'all were called foamers, Don. I just they, thought you, you were. You get these foamers. They stand around on the side of the road. Like we have a we have a spot here where the trains go across a, a small two lane road. And it's right by a bridge, so it's like a tight fit. There's like no shoulder there, and the foamers will unite and they'll meet there, so they can watch a train train go by and just get run over. They all hold time. hands. They yeah, there's no hands. place to they park or anything. Like that, right. Sing kumbaya. But my one buddy is a foamer, and he he wears the red shirt, like a red button up shirt, like a Dickies red button up shirt, and then he'll wear like Does he the, have a scarf. Uh, yeah, well, he'll put like a what is it like a the rag in his back pocket. And uh, he wears his overalls, and he's got like that blue and white pinstripe cap. You know, put that on. I'm like, son, it's a little weird wearing a costume like that. You grow. I mean, that's you know, that's furry level weird, right? That's what I said. It's like he's like a larper. He's like a <laughs> larper for level. for foamers. Man, and if any of y'all out there are furries, I'm not judging much. Y'all are weird. <sighs> Freedom of speech, man. Right. I don't know. Right. So all, you do you, Punkin, you do you. Just don't share Great it. Great Jim rules, just making friends. So so back to D-Star on the 9700. What? Okay. See, see how I tied that in? You did. Does, <laughs> does the 9700 do terminal mode? I don't know. I have not read the manual yet. I started to read it at work, and then my boss interrupted me with what kind of phone work. to buy for our receptionist. <laughs> work. Yeah. So, so tell, me, tell me, Jim, tell me about the similarities between reflectors and talk groups for D star and DMR. D star has reflectors, DMR has talk groups. What are what are we talking about? So, I'm not 100% sure on this. Morning, Scott. A, a reflector, a D star, let's skip D star. DMR and YSF reflectors as far as I know are the same as a talk group. Um, you can and and Toads is set up this way, the Toads digital. We're running software that takes DMR connections. It's called a reflector, but it's it's it is the talk group. The reflector is the talk group. I think you can have multiple reflectors tied to the same talk group, but I don't know about that one. I've never done it. Hmm. On YSF side, it absolutely is. I know that for a fact. They call it a reflector, but it's still a talk group. And that's YSF with PyStar. That is not WiresX and HRI, because that's a whole other thing that I don't, don't have and haven't messed with. To be a reflector in DSTAR's network, don't you need to have a specific server for that reflector? Like so, like Charlie Thirty requires its own infrastructure. Yeah, right. Yeah, and you do for any of them. Yes, that's correct. But talk groups don't require their own infrastructure, do they? I mean, you don't need to have a talk group server. No, you do not. You could, you and me, and all four of us could get 
our own, we could use my DMR ID for our talk group, which is not specifically on a server. And then I if could join in with the three of you. Right. Yes, absolutely. So it's a little different then, right? Um, I think YSF and DSTAR will do it without infrastructure. I've just never tried it. I've done DMR. DMR does not require a server. You can with, DMR with simplex. We can DMR group. It all works fine. With um, with System Fusion though, you can you can reach out to Yesu and you can get your own room, right? Like you can get your own YSF. What do they call? No, it? not YSF, not YSF. Yesu supports Wires X, and yes, you can reach out to Yesu and they will give you a Wires X room number. I got one when I got my four hundred, uh, and so then I, I found that was out a YSF room. No, sir. Mm -mm. It is Wires X. So if you have the HRI module and a supported uh, fusion radio, like a 400, mm -hmm. 100D, probably the 200, 300, I think the 70 maybe even, and I'm pretty sure the 3 and the 5 both do it as well. 70 has it, yeah. Does it? I mean, I know it does fusion. I don't know if it'll do the wires X thing. That's what I wasn't sure about. But oh, I think it does yeah. it all. It does, it does wires X. Yeah, so, well, I, again, I know it'll talk to it. What I'm saying is it'll hook permanently to the HRI to make your wires X room. Yes, the any of the Yesu radios oh. will talk to a wires X room or a YSF room. A YSF room and a wires X room will not talk to each other unless there's something, there's a piece of middleware to bridge the two together. But you can connect from your wires X room to any YSF room that you want, right? If there's a bridge. Okay. To my understanding, there has to be a bridge. Wires X is only Yesu equipment. You're not going to hook non Yesu equipment to a Wires X room, which by definition means you ain't going to hook it to YSF because YSF is Pi Stars. And I don't know who made that, who made up YSF, but Wires X is Yesu only. You cannot hook to Wires X without Yesu gear. Yeah, so like this, um, this radio right here, I think it's a 2800. It's got, it actually has wires on it. That's um, the older version, yes. That's yeah. correct. Which is really just IRL, right? It's like internet relay linking. With I think so. Stuff. I've never messed with that stuff. Uh, the wires side, I've never touched. Yeah, so Liberty's got an interesting point here. He's on the fence. Is all of this radio or networking just saying? Yes. And the answer to that is yes. It can yes. be simplex operation radio to radio within the, the realm of radio. So if you're two meter simplex and you want to do a D-star contact or a DMR contact, you can do that within the provisions of two meters. So line of sight and all that kind of stuff. If you want to do uh, DMR, oh, sorry, D-star or C4FM over HF, you can do that within the confines yep. of band conditions and openings and time yep. of day and ionospheric, whatever, whatever, whatever. Or you can link this stuff through the internet. So yes, right. is the answer to that question. When you're, when you're do, like to follow on with what Steve said, you can use any of these modes to talk simplex at any time. When you want to get distance out of it, you have to have a transport layer to get distance. So in the case of digital HTs and I want to talk to Ape, First of all, I'd have to know if he had a call sign. We don't. But we got to, right? See, there you go. K toads. But we got to have the internet between us as a transport. If I want to talk C4FM um, to Chuck over HF, we've got HF as the transport layer. Likewise, okay. if I want to talk D star to Steve, when I get my 9700, we can D star over HF to each or, other. Or to Chuck. Or to Chuck. Or to Chuck. So you've got to have a transport layer. The internet is one transport layer. HF or two meters are the other two transport layers. And if the stuff's all working right, you don't really know which transport layer you're using. It's kind of, it's a lot of networking in it on the, on the back side. Well, when we talk about, Indeed. Like Don's asking Brandmeister and Seabridge. So it, it's my understanding that Seabridge is physical infrastructure that is a carryover from DMARC. So, so what you used to do is you used to have your, your repeater, you have a DMARC repeater that was up and working, and then you would relay that via internet to C bridges and C bridges would be collections of repeaters that you could or you couldn't host different talk groups on. Right? And if you had a C bridge that hosted a talk group, then you could make that talk group available on your local repeater. And then those C bridges went up one more layer from a physical networking piece that uses internet as a transport. Brandmeister is fully networked and there's like eight different Brandmeister servers. 
the Brandmeister controls. So like I can set up my own Seabridge. I cannot set up my own Brandmeister server. I can set up my own Brandmeister client on the Pi Star that connects into that Brandmeister network right. via a, 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 a network topology. In this case, the internet is what we use. But generally you don't see a Seabridge on Brandmeister. Now you can add them, right? You can make your Seabridge a client on the Brandmeister network and then and do it that way. But uh, Seabridge was around before Brandmeister is my understanding. TGIF okay. works the same way as Brandmeister does. And there's a whole mess of them out there now. TGIF. Don, you can do DMR to DMR over a repeater. Can you do DMR to DMR over a DMR repeater without an internet connection? Yes. Yes. Because the repeater is still repeating RF. It's just digitized RF. And yes, that would work. But you're not going to talk worldwide unless that repeater is internet connected linked. to the internet yeah. connect to the internet and some of them are need, and yeah and when they are connected to the internet the repeater owner the repeater trustee operator whatever probably limits the number of talk groups that you can connect to on the internet and that well, is very common i think very the texan common. boys down there have like 12 different dmr repeaters that are interconnected mm -hmm. but they are not connected publicly to other to to like um to DMARC or Brandmeister or anything like that. So it's it's a regional network system, but the it's kind of like um, with IRLP, right? Where you can have, like if I have a repeater and my buddy Gene Shorts Dave has a repeater, we can connect those two together, but we don't have to connect them to everybody. The things that come out of your mouth are just freaking hilarious Shorts, sometimes, yeah. and you don't even what? try. It's it is You're, you are twice. dry as autumn leaves in October, man, and then you throw out stuff like Gene Shorts Dave. Yeah, but he's a he's a character. He's, a, he's, I, he's he's I'm impressed. I mean, it's funny. A trusted friend. Yeah. One one of one of these two boys just mentioned that, and I don't remember which one it was. They both look alike. Um, I think it was Steve. A lot of the digital repeater owners will lock down the repeater and not allow you to willy nilly change talk groups or reflectors. Um. So, like, the Fusion repeater here in Montgomery stays pretty much locked on Alabama Link. I think the owner decided he was tired of waking up to UK Scotland on the Fusion repeater. And um, so it's locked. It, it only will change to a, a small subset. I don't know if Sam's in, in the... Sam is uh, up, up the highway from me about 30 miles. And we were testing that one day. Or he he tested it and said he couldn't get it to work. And I thought, well, as far as I knew, it did. But they've apparently changed it. And the DMR ones are the same way. Um, and I, I guess they'd probably do it with D-Star. D-Star works a little differently. So those reflectors like 30 Charlie. Well, I guess it's the same thing. You still use the repeater. I've never talked on D-Star. Uh... Really? Don't I thought you did D-Star. I'm not old enough. I have. Okay. No, have I actually talked on it? Did we actually talk that night? No, Did maybe we? not. I don't remember. I tried to. I tried to. We I tried. tried. Yeah. I there was a lot of things going on that night. Same way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was. Well, see, Jeez, here's Don, Don saying he hasn't encountered a D Star repeater that is locked. They're all locked. They have to be. They have to be approved by the ICOM consortium, right? Like I, I can't just consortium. Oh man! But, it's, but I can't. Go. I can't just stand up. I can stand up a DMR repeater because it's open, right? But I cannot stand up a a D Star repeater without the blessing of of ICOM. Heck, I can't even join D Star without a group of people voting me in. Yeah, D Star's weird like that, and it's like and Brandmeister's, Island. Brandmeister's kind of the same way, but not. So for D Star, you have to go get an ID from a local D Star repeater, and if you can't get one from your local D Star repeater, there is a a global one that you can go to, and it's like you have to wait for some human being to receive the request there and approve the request. And with RadioID.net for your DMR ID, you just go to the website and you click, 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 and it it's like here's your ID. So pretty much automatic. Which, yeah. We've got Don backtracking here. He's saying it's a limited number of groups. But even then, like don't you can't just create a group. Like it's got to be a pre approved ICOM group and all that other stuff, right? Well are you was, was still back, are you still talking about D Star? saying he was wrong. Yeah. Is that just a, a, another way of saying Don was wrong? Yeah, like I'm mean, giving him, him the grief for a change. Right back at you, Dono. Right at you, Don. And Bro Jet is spot on, spot on with his comment here. Is linking a busy talk group or reflector to your local repeater, like for example, America Link on 
Fusion or or DMR or friggin' Thirty Charlie on D Star, and then they just won't shut and up. You're done, and it's nothing and but key ups, and it's nonstop and kerchunking off. and and or OM talking about their gout. It was back yeah. in like eighteen. I was really big into to D, DMR, and everybody was at that time was like, "Yeah, you got to get on Tac Three Ten. Get on Tac Three Ten. We got the Tac Three Ten net, you know." And they're like. There's never there was never anybody on there. So then everybody started saying, "Hey, get on Tac three ten And then everybody was on there kerchunking and being like, "Hey, can I get a signal report here? How do I sound? Am I five nine? And it, everybody started to use it, and then everybody started to get mad. They're like, "Too many, damn!" Th- this is what I don't understand about him. Nobody people. on here now. There's too many, <laughs> right? And it's this is not what we intended. We did not want this talk group to be for people to talk on. They, they ought to call it a silent group. Emergency it, use only. Well, then they're like, yeah. this This is for meeting people and then QSLing to a different, which is QSL is actually a CW, a, a, a pro sign, I think is what they call that. And you shouldn't be using it in spoken language. I'm starting to get upset. But but the get thing off is, my then, lawn. that's exactly what it was. Get, get off, get off TAC 310. So now TAC 310, well, last time I was on there, it's been a while, was it's dead again. So congratulations, it's, people. It is dead as fried chicken. And Killed. they tell you, don't even talk on TAC 310. Right, because they got some, they got some crazed, bloodshot-eyed admin over there, little banya. Yep, yep. Hiking and Hammond, yes, there was a lot of drunken Scots on there. Now Sam says that it's not locked out. I don't normally use the local repeater because I have a hot spot here at home and one in my truck, so I don't use it. But he can't get to Toads on the Fusion repeater. Ergo, it's locked out, even if it's Ergo. accidentally. <coughs> I don't know. I'll have to try it, Sam. I haven't. I haven't tried the local repeater lately, so I'll I'll, I'll mess with that and uh, get kicked off that too. So we got a question care. from Hot Scott spot. over at Ham Radio Hot spot from love, man. Non Hot spot Techies. Love. He says, "Do you have to build your own repeater if you do not have a D Star or YSF repeater in your area? So you build this little mini device called a hotspot, an MMDVM hat, and all of us, except for Chuck, Chuck's been slacking. All of us have videos on our I channel about one. how to oh, how to see. build one and how to configure it. And uh, Jim and I did a Ham Nuggets episode where we started out with just a bunch of hardware laying on the bench and ended up with working hotspots by the end of the Ham oh, Nuggets not, episode. I thought you were going to talk about the D Star video because I still." Flashbacks. The, yeah. I actually built mine before, post D like, star stress before disorder. I started doing yeah, videos. Exactly. So, so this is coming. This is just the same. Looks yeah, good. nice. Yeah, we've it. got all three of us have. Uh, well, you guys, with the exception BS. of the Chuck, have a bunch of videos on that. So, I've yeah, the one, one it's right Stephen, here. a video, what Chuck. One of these bad boys. Yeah, and see have how it's not plugged it in or turned on. Yeah. <laughs> what Why mode is it set up for, Chuck? Just what I'm over it. I did yeah. it. It's done. I'm over it. It's well, I really real. like. I really radio. liked messing with DMR. Um, maybe I'll start doing. Well, it I don't again. have DMR. It, it was. Um, it was a lot of fun. And when I when I was getting into it though, like I thought you could just buy this, or or something similar, and then I could use like a Fang or something like that. So at that time, like I was looking at like HRO and the hotspots on there, you can buy like a pre-assembled hotspot. They're like two hundred and forty bucks. I'm oh, like, yeah. man, that's a lot of that's a lot of bread, son. That's a lot of bread. And Look I, I didn't want to do with it, man. Spend you need to that. change and the had, colors, yeah. And then I had to find out that you had to you had to buy a DMR radio, and I was like, this is BS. But I ended up, uh, <laughs> yes, sir, Fred. Keeping you down. Well, I had some Raspberry Pis, and then I said, oh, you can just use a Raspberry. When I learned about what it was, and um, but it still was about three hundred bucks to get to get in there. You know, hundred bucks for a hotspot, two hundred bucks for a decent radio, um, which is way more than I wanted to wanted to spend on it. But I did have a lot of fun with it. I just haven't done it in a long time. Yes, guys, there is a Toads. There is a Toads Digital. Um, rule number one of Toads Digital is don't bitch about it. It don't works talk. or it doesn't. <laughs> I don't care. Talk on it. We're shutting it down. <laughs> just, just don't bitch to me about it because the documentation to make all that work is non-existent and half of it is technology half of it is quantum mechanics and half of it is straight up witchcraft so witchcraft. Um, he's yeah. absolutely right yeah. well, i love that don't don't talk on the toad's digital now. no you can talk on it just don't bitch to me about it that's how you can talk all you want just don't bitch to me if he, he it doesn't work that part he was talking we have to reboot the damn thing every other three minutes on well, days that, that end means in that there's a design. That means there's a design. I didn't. In, 
Who does, You're the who one that's like, I did this, I did that, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. No, I got it working, it's, and it works for fault. five to 12 minutes at least once or twice a week. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. we should decomplex it. Does so, it need to have all three modes? It, well, otherwise, it's not any good. Then Joe Brett complains because the, the D-Star link don't work, right? Joe, I'm Joe checking Brett, the D-Star so, link right now. I'm pretty sure it's down. So oh, oh, I just rebooted it the other day, and it was up. But that was three or four this days is, ago. We have a digital so, save wire like this. There is, save, there is like, three talk groups on the Toad's thing. There is XRF 546 Alpha, which is our D-Star. There is 55295, which is our YSF room. And there is DMR 3192083. And optimally, all three of them are linked together and cross-moding simultaneously. On a, we, we got a little server, right, with DigitalOcean. Is that what we did? We do. And I've talked to Dennis, and we made 86 DigitalOcean to move the whole thing here on a Pi. Because Dennis said he eventually did that. He, he was... You could run it on that uh, on that Maestro Three crap top. Sure, sure. (laughs) I could. It's cheaper than using one of my Pi Fours for it. I got Pi Fours. I'm holding. So why would we go back to the Pi though? And we had to buy like some dongles, right? Didn't we have to buy two two DMR dongles? You have to have the dongles. So to to transcode the D Star into the other modes and vice versa, you have to have a dongle one for each way. Mm-hmm. Now we can have we can set up a D star room, and before the dongles came in and got set up, the D star room was by itself. You could just talk on XRF five forty six, and the only people that could hear you were the ones on XRF five forty six. Optimally, with the dongles and everything working properly, it all is simultaneously simulcasting. That's the word I was. And, and they, them dongles were two hundred, right? They were they were hundred each, hundred each. Oh, yeah. Well, are you on there, Tio? Can we get Joe Brett to give you a sound check? Uh, server IP domain cannot be found. I'm probably on the wrong Wi-Fi network. There's only 900 yes. settings inside of here. I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi network on the radio in my house. I'm connected okay. to my phone's hotspot, which okay. isn't turned on. I almost peed a little. Are you got a it pulled up there, James? I mean, a little. where's Y Y V Y Y V Y? You know, I was watching. Like his Instagram feed, or maybe it was Twitter or something like that. And Joe Brett, he's he's crafty. I will give him that. He what he did, he made a bunch of shirts specifically for hunting. <laughs> they look good, Joe. Oh, Brett. did he? Yeah, they do. And they did. I almost I almost caved and ordered one. Where's that at? I didn't see him on his uh, uh, spreadshirt. On he his torso. Yeah, so I'm connected. Oh, gotcha. Well, him and on Mrs. Joe Brett were oh, wearing from matching shirts too. Here he is. He's starting with the stuff. He's like, I have my hotspot disconnected. This is what Joe Brett is K saying. K4YCD, K5YVY. Then he says, thank you to the ape man. I'm trying to clean up my, my uh, desk here so I can do some other stuff. I was trying to clean mine up. It's a freaking mess right now. This is the only time I've had to sit down, so I figured I'd do it now. We he had to move doing. his hot spot. Why is, there, why is there just all this silence? We're waiting for Joe Brett. I oh, my Lord, Joe Brett. About to hook up my 811. KO4 page. CDJ, good morning. Oh, Molson's here. Molson. There we go. There. The ranting, the ranting Canadian. I got two radios on here now. I'm losing track of what's going on. Sounds so natural. Let's see what the what what, what, what HD you working with there. The D seventy four. You know how to operate that thing? <laughs> Barely. Get the manual. It's got a lot of buttons. Yeah. It does have oh, a lot the, of buttons. Oh, that's the that's the Kenwood. That's the Kenwood. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I see N three NWV keyed up on DMR, so it is cross modin. Hey, and I just tell you guys, you know, we kept talking about Kenwood getting out of the business. K and four YCD. To K and four YCD on DMR. Nope, the cross what? mode's not working right. It sees me keying up, but I'm not getting audio again. One of my viewers says that he has a friend this. that works for Kenwood. He says they are not getting out of the ham business. So good. Straight from straight from a friend from a friend. Which says what we would call that in ham court. Hey, look, Matt here's here. Matt, good morning. Hey. Matt. So Matt was vexed yesterday. 
Matt had an interesting problem. Um, some of it was probably could be cured with medication and a doctor's care, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> Matt discovered that if you have a simplex hotspot, one with one radio, like the one Chuck has, show, show your hotspot there, Chuck. So that's only got one radio in it. <clears throat> I star defaults to yet. time slot two. I saw Joe Brick key up, and I heard oh. some audio from both radios, so it's kind of working. Maybe it's too far. Bourbon yes, working, I'm, Matt. It's all pixelated. So yeah. if you if you set up High Star on that hotspot, similar to one Chuck has, one of the single radio hotspots, and set it to DMR, DMR will always go to time slot two. Huh. Even if you want it to be on time slot one, it's only going to ever go to time slot two. S so this is a single, but it has two time slots? DMR supports two time slots. It only oh. has one radio, so it's only going to support one time slot on the Pi Star. Yeah. Hey, for me to actually get one of these working was pretty good at the time. So, Joe Brett, for what it's worth, I see you on DMR and D Star. I heard you on D Star. On DMR, I heard Donald Duck. So... Uh, it's the link is messed up again. I guess. Which DMR radio are you using? The six X two. And what do you mean the links mixed messed up? So that's just or you got to reboot or, or something like that. It's hung so process. What, what's, what we got here on on DigitalOcean? I've explained this to you. It was late at night. It was late at night. What you haven't explained is you're you're always like, I am an IT professional. I've been IT and for thirty five years. I went back in nineteen in Canakee in sixty two. I was the first IT guy that. Yeah, I'm, not I'm, I'm not a global VP. I'm not a global VPN manager, though. So you but know, you're like know. infosec professional, but your shit so, don't work. It, oh, it keeps hanging. Man. Like if, if this is a hung process, can't we just inject some automation there to redo? There's it nothing hung reboot? about Jim. This, <laughs> like a buck field mouse. Listen. So on digital, on DigitalOcean, jackass. On DigitalOcean, there is two two processes running there. One is the YSF reflector, and the other is the DMR slash DMR to YSF piece that right. gives us DMR and crosses it over to the YSF side. So those two processes are what's running on there. That process also points to the Raspberry Pi here mm -hmm. out in the FEP Labs secure undisclosed location that has the, <laughs> the two squirrel, dongles. Squirrel, the squirrel nest. <laughs> yeah, the squirrel nest um, that has the two D-Star dongles running on it. So we're transcoding D-Star over the internet. And Dennis was telling me he thought that was just asking for trouble, and indeed it has been. Mm -hmm. So what I'm probably going to do it, when I get motivated to mess with it is just roll the whole thing back here to one Raspberry Pi 4 and be done with it in 86 DigitalOcean. But didn't and it's not DigitalOcean's fault. Or was you, were, were you running it on that Dell that you got that Optiplex or something? I never, I never had the D-Star pieces transcoding initially, oh, no. Man. Yeah, I was running the software here. But that was just the DMR and YSF piece, never the D star transcode. But and we that's went the, with the digital ocean for a reason, right? Yeah, so it had better uptime than Jim's house. Right? Gotcha. I mean so But we had Jim's um, house uptime really hasn't been the Achilles heel of this mess. No, it's been the transcode. It's been the D star transcode because it's sketchy as hell. Like I just saw Raphael key up and I hear him on this on this um on the D-Star radio, but see, it didn't send it to DMR because the DMR radio didn't even key up. So that transcode piece is what's not working, and it's not a firewall issue before anyone says that. Monday night on Ham Nuggets, we're going to play with this and get it fixed again. 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 <laughs> again. Again. Well, again. Maybe I'll join but you just reboot everything, and then it works until something happens. Yep. Yep. So staying with one system is suggested. James, so yes and no. Find the, the people that you want to talk to and get yourself a rock solid system for talking to them. If you want to talk to us on the Toads groups, um, pick one of the Toads groups to talk on. You do not need a D Star radio and hotspot and a DMR radio and a hotspot and a YSF radio and a hotspot. Just one. The whole point is that we're supposed to interlink on the backside and we'll get there. And so, if anybody is right. an expert in these things, please feel free to join us. But legit right. expert. Yeah. Or you can't, and, can't be like, I slept at a Holiday Inn and I identify as an expert. You and if you that. tell me it's a firewall problem, you automatically get no from me. So just. Well, I would even... like to get an audit. 
I yeah. think we need to bring you KPMG go, in on the firewall Go get your rules. global VPN working. So oh. we're going to be SOC 2 compliant here by the end of Ham <laughs> yeah. Nuggets on Monday night. Oh, my Lord. No, shut up. <laughs> no. Yeah, Ape, that's what we've been doing. We just restart the processes and or reboot the machine, and then everything works fine for some amount of time until it gets tired. And it's hmm. not even and it's not even that my Internet has been offline. I got one gig Internet here, so I got plenty of bandwidth. That mm -hmm. thing is on a UPS, so it's not getting power cycled or anything like that at all. It just, I don't know if I don't know if Darren was flexing there, but he says Carolina's link works. Maybe yeah, we're gonna have to have some Carolina Carolinians on the show. Yeah, and so has Alabama Link. And I reached out to that guy, and I he didn't really offer any solid suggestions. Oh, so I'd off I'd I'd link I'd get out to him too, but I wouldn't know what he's talking about. So yeah, Don. I mean, it's. It's well, not that, what Don's saying is you're not a legit expert. Right. I get what Don's saying. Don is trolling like Don does. <laughs> but he also said they have trouble keeping it running. Yeah. Oh. So maybe One service you, or the other is off. Maybe it's just not you. It's not just it me. Might it is, but maybe it is. It might not. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I want it to work. And when it works, Steve and I troubleshot it on Nuggets. We made it work we, a couple of times. We had everything working just fine And then the sun goes down. <clears throat> yep. Air is there a changes? document out there that is like uh or, or do we just no have the no there's not the Dennis manifesto uh, there's not there, there's not a document that's 100 percent correct no there are documents that hint at pieces of it there are some settings that i have yet to even know what they're supposed welcome to welcome back do Vern. because i want to be at Vern's house documented anywhere it sounds like a party so, at Vern's house it does yeah, he just went he went outside and had, had a had a marlboro and a and a couple of fingers of scotch yeah, exactly. So, so Thump's yeah. saying that Chuck needs a juice spot, and Chuck's asking what, what a is. juice spot is, and I get confused myself. What's the which one are we talking about? The juice spot or the juice box, and which which one does what? This is the juice box. The juice spot oh, is an 18650 embedded into the case of your hotspot, <laughs> and so that way you can just take it wherever, and you have power. You don't have to have it. Oh, tethers. so he's saying I need to add it to this. Kurt, uh -huh. you're probably is right. What he's saying. It would replace the case, and it would make it. He's got a. Powered. He he has a, um, a, a STL file that you can print out. He's in the juice. All, all you gotta do is just drop an eighteen six fifty in there and solder a couple of wires. It's pretty. Oh, similar. then it's portable, right? It's like the. Yeah. Yep. The yes, open it's spot like an open spot. Yeah. Open spot. I looked into that too when I was in when I was into this, for like a week. I'm just. Saying. Yeah. Well, well you, know, you have it. to make D Star work too. Hey, Chris. i to get D-Star to work, just not with you guys. <laughs> your, your turn, Jim. <laughs> oh, it's Ape this time. <laughs> hey, Chris. Oh, I'm not touching it. I wasn't even touching it. That wasn't I me. saw the that look. Was... I saw the, the judgment coming from Jim. Hey, Chris. Oh, no. Huh? My favorite Ooh. hand from the... Chris. Oh, he's not going to make an, is he? make an herb fermented beverage. That's nice. <laughs> That's that weed. It's weed juice. It's just weed, weed juice. juice. Weed, yeah. weed juice. You can just buy that here. Wheat. Wheat. Oh, Wheat. <laughs> Speaking of nerds <laughs> and experts, Dennis and is here. Hey, Dennis! Simultaneous. Oh, there he is. I thought you were talking. We're about just talking Chris. about his his document, right? Like his. What, what do they call? What do we call it? The Dennis Manifesto. You called it the yeah. Dennis Manifesto. Yes. So, Dennis, what you missed is Jim has not listened to you and done it set up our setup right yet. So he's thinking about. No, I did it the way he originally did it. Then I changed it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pay, pay no attention I, to that I man. I am Oz the Great and Powerful. That's what I heard. It so says, should we talk about DMR a little bit right while we're here instead of that way? Instead of pounding yeah, on Jim, maybe we should just ask for questions. <laughs> DMR questions in the ch in the chat. Because I mean, OSHA says we got to put grab handles back here. If more than one of y'all is going to ride my ass for about this much, <laughs> another set of grab handles. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you said grab handles, not love handles. <laughs> yes, oh, I got that one. Jerk. <laughs> well, what is the? I got those. I got that one, and I got those. So. Right, let me see. Why is my reflector more advanced than JerryNet? I thought JerryNet, you had all three running. I would love to get your we have the, files off of JerryNet. We have the terminal mode, the internet connection gateway thing oh. set up, and Dennis oh. doesn't have that set up, which is what That's we found true. out after two and a half hours of trying to connect to Dennis's server yeah. that is not set up to be connected to in that way. Totally our that fault. Was, that was the problem we had, huh? It wasn't, yeah. even, it wasn't totally our fault. Don, it's, <laughs> it's not that we're bothering. With, DMR isn't harder or worse than anything else, more or less. It's that I want all the modes to get together. Alabama Link, and I need to reach out to that guy again. Alabama Link links D Star, DMR, Fusion, P25, and NXDN 
he just all together. You to know. At the same time, and he's and got five, which, and we can't get three, and we can't get three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder where that guy's from. Dennis, you're right. Mine is mine. His works. Mine is more advanced. There you go. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Appreciate that. Somehow that just doesn't. So seem right. <clears throat> let's talk about DMR since we're you know an hour into the show and I believe 59. we. Yeah. Oh, I should. Anybody have DMR questions? What is Matt DMR? here? You had some good questions. What yesterday. is DMR? Digital Don wants to know radio. why I still bother with DMR. To me, DMR is the least complex of all of these. Oh, no. Is it? I don't know. Well, I don't. Wires or fusion's pretty easy. You just fusion is talk. Fusion is just putting a number. I don't know how you get any easier. You, no, you got the HRI and the node and the wires. No, no you do, if you're an end. Fusion oh, or no, son. No, you don't have to use none of that. You get don't your, have to. You, at all. Unless you want to set up your own node and be precious. All you got to have Which is your is radio. You're to do. Oh, that's a YSF room and it works. No, all you got to have is a fusion radio and put in the number. That's why Chuck likes it. It's easy. And I agree with him. He's right. All right, Mr. Easy Pants, the two of you, let's let's get a YSF QSO crossed on the on Toad's net real quick. I'm talking about real radio when you actually hit a repeater. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. When oh, you actually hit a repeater. Your, oh, yeah. your, your hotspot is a repeater, and Chuck can't do it because his isn't plugged in. Right. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been plugged in in a while. Who knows what happens if I plug it in? There might be so much dust on it that it might just burn up. Probably be an hour and a half while it updates itself, too. Oh, is it? Oh, shit, would it do that? Dang. Yes. <laughs> but Chuck is like 12 versions I'll plug back it on in. Star. I'll, I'll plug it in today when I go to the... Well, do it by itself. I can just mm, plug it in. I can go. No, I think you have to log back. in and force an update. Ah, I don't know that it'll auto update. You can set it to auto update, but it Sometimes doesn't. Sometimes updates default. are bad. You know, I always wait on those updates. So Fusion just requires on the end user side that you know the talk group number, talk group number, room number, same thing, reflector number, interchangeably used, same thing. You know what is a pain on it? Though? DMR requires a little more information. If you get two guys that are like, yeah, 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 you can't get off. You, you ha you can't actually get off because you have to have. They have to actually take a breath, so yeah. you can leave. So you don't have to there's, listen to them anymore. There's a couple of tricks for that with the hotspot, yes. but not with an actual repeater. That. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, if I'm you're, talking on a repeater. It's easy. You just switch the dial. You do the same well, your thing. Radio is locked. Hotspot. Your radio, radio is locked on that uh, DMR. Yeah. Right? But I'm, I'm talking about with the little hot box things because I've got on there a couple of times like, I don't want to listen to this. I want to go someplace else. Did he call it a hot I box? I could not get off. On the hot box? <laughs> Chuck, the hot Chuck's box. got a couple of a couple of recreational activities we don't know yeah, about. Apparently. I thought hot box is when you smoke a cigarette too fast, right? Right. That's right. When you're puffing it so hard, you got like a cherry that's this long in the, yeah. Well, and the filter whoa, whoa, whoa. gets all burned up. Yep. Liquefied. Right. Hot, and hot box and cherries. I don't know. You go We're talking about the, cigarettes, right? Chuck. Look here, <coughs> right? Look here. Whatever. I'm going to share my. I'm going to share my screen out. Looks like uh, Dennis is smart lipping over here. And I, uh, Dennis probably is. That's how he rolls. And um, so you can, if you're if you're in here and a couple guys are hot boxing, you just go to the <laughs> admin screen and log in. Yeah. Chuck probably forgot the password. It's it's uh, Raspberry it's Pi. Raspberry because you haven't changed it. Okay. There. Why you go. change Good. it? Right. Oh, I look for, hey, now, now don't make too much fun of me, but I look for a day, for like a day one time trying to figure out what my password was, and then I, I re, oh, shit, I never oh, Yeah, I don't change it because it's too, it's too, too I'm it's just like people are wanting to get into my, well, it's not even hooked up, so they can't get So, it. yeah, if you got, if you got somebody in here and they won't quit hotboxing, just come in here and drop the, drop the cue so when it terminates them. There's so you're transferring everything to DMR, is that what you're doing here? Uh, no, th where here? This is just my DMR hotspot. But see, the thing is, is, it says it says you in there, right? You're the third third entry, and it says DMR. Uh, the way it works, yeah. Let me see. That was probably I got to turn radios back on. And, and, I keyed and, up on one of them. Yes, they're all going to show up every time I key up on Toads, whether it's on DMR or Fusion or D Star, it's going to show up. Because this is attached to the Toads group, yeah. Huh. 
I'm going to say some things You're pretty real quick. Active. And I, I'm saying it with love, Joe Brett. But good Lord, look at that 50% bid error rate, son. What the heck is going on oh, down man. there? Mm -hmm. I, that's why he sounded like Donald Duck. Duck. It probably, uh, nothing, oh. not, probably nothing what? wrong. Probably nothing Wait, wrong with the trans code. What? What? Oh, so it's not my trans code? It's Joe oh, Brett? guess what? Mine's See, look, I just fixed, fixed you a problem right there, son. Thank you, and, Ape. And then Ape, look at, you look are at my the, hero. And then look at this other feller down here, KO4CDJ. Joe Brett, you got to fix that, man. Y'all got to check your TDE, wire. Just look at that. Zero, zero percent error rate on N9TDE. That's the adjustment on the uh, um, delay or something, isn't it? Yes, for the bit, for the bit error press. rate, not the signal loss, Chuck. Right. Joe, right. Joe's got signal loss, which indicates got, his internet I didn't know what is I was not going doing. fast enough. I didn't know what I was doing. I got mine closer than that. Or so it wasn't like zero. That. It was like one point. Shame this, on Joe Brett. This right here, BER, bit error rate is what you adjust. Right. Over that's here, that little number to, that's on the chip or something, right? Oh well, hold uh, a second. I might have to might have to re retract my shaming, but that's the bit bit error rate. Joe Brett's looked good, but then his loss was high. Yes, his loss was high. So could that loss be the transcode? Uh, uh, probably his internet. Let's get back on that screening. Do we have anybody else with a D star that can give us a quick uh, signal report? A DMR. Well, we we need on. to it need to be D star though, right? No, not Let's for this back here. one that he's showing. But he's saying that the problem is the transcode. So the transcode is from DMR, from D-Star to DMR. KO4CDJ just keyed up on D-Star. Here's Joe Brett. KM9G on Toad's DMR. Joe Brett, I see you keyed up, and I heard some background sound, but I didn't hear no voice. Maybe he was just eating in the background. <laughs> he breathing heavy. Breathing heavy. XRF 546, Dennis. There you go. Rojet came in loud and clear that time. I could almost understand what he was saying. But he didn't show up here. There it is. No, that's Sam. Ooh. Well, it's working. See, so that tells me the transcode didn't work that time because he never came over here to the DMR side. And if I go to the D-Star, which I'm going to have to swap screens, hang on. So Don's asking about how long have hotspots lasted. Don, did you build yours out of getting an MMDVM hat and then a case and then a pie and then a whole bunch of other stuff? Or did you buy the pre-assembled kit off of Amazon? I got, I tried both ways. We got five MMDVM hats that were just horrible. I actually had to slice a, a trace on the, on the circuit board there in order to get it to work. So... It just depends on, on what you get and where you're going. I just got the one that Dennis, on his video, said to get. Lordy, look at all them bit error rates. They're, and they all just happen to be exactly 8.3. Hmm. So I wonder whose side has is, got the problem. Mine's that is minus 4%. That error. could be my D-Star hotspot is probably what that is. Mm -hmm. hmm. But that, wouldn't, that doesn't have anything to do with the transcode because those... That information is coming over the internet. Through your firewall, the suspect firewall. Oh, the yeah. Suspect. Yeah, it's a suspect firewall. There's the inside if you guys want it. If anybody wants to see what the inside looks like. And them innards. Let me get you on the solar cool. real quick. Here. What innards is Chuck showing? Oh, okay. Yeah, look at that. His, his colonoscopy picks. Yes. Right. Oh, I got those too. <laughs> so on on top that is um, that's the MMDVM hat that's what does the radio magic. The magic, and then the bottom is the Pi Zero. Yeah, John, I don't know, I don't know where I'm getting um, a BER that high. I haven't messed with this D Star hotspot in a while, so I don't mm. know. It, it sounds like that's a problem. Mine it, says it, it's plus, my problem. Mine says it's not related 4%. to the other thing. If that means anything. So if I go to configuration, oh, I'm in the right place. There we go. MMDVM host. And then, I got one and then you want to go down distance. here and you want to mess with RX and TX offset. So let's set that to minus 50. And apply changes and it takes 10 minutes for it to reboot. 
And it has to synchronize with the master server. Well, there you go. Then, right. Reboot your reflector if you can. Most likely the GMSK modem overflowed with a high bit error rate. That's yeah, what I was going to say. I can reboot it, sure. I got to wait on it to... See you later, Walt. Later, Walt. Recycle. Hey, see you, Walt. He He's going to get himself some pants, some fancy pants, yeah. Walt, next time you see him. Don't forget to get those tactical suspenders either. Now, there was Dennis coming in loud and clear. Yeah, and again. I can't connect to it again, at all. Dennis. And now Joe Brett sounding beautiful. I'm not sure how I'm hearing them because I just rebooted my hotspot, but okay. They're coming over the other hotspot. See, 26 minutes, I fixed the problem. Joe Brett and Dennis are having a long distance relationship, babe. I'm telling you, Joe Brett, he was he all about around. hugging on some Steve. I mean, I can't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Went down there in the in the Huntsville area. I think I'm going to get some tacos from the Taco Shack today, too. What? I had to open up this box if to you, see what's in it. If you want less aggravation in your life, just pick which mode you want to use. And it, and like Steve or somebody said, okay. it depends on what your buddies are running. If your friends are all DMR guys, then get DMR radio. <laughs> Whatever. But what we're trying to do is link all three modes together, so... No matter which toad has which radio, they all work together. I see it, Tim. And I wish hey. there was one piece of software to make this work together. It would be great. Hey, yeah. Oh, the, the cat's here, so we're going to get this done. The cat? Oh, yeah. yeah. That cat. Right. Let's see if this thing's back. <laughs> Hello, cat. <laughs> Sophie, come on. Sophie. Sophie. Jesus Christ. So move. Come on. Come on, cat. Oh, Internet John cat. wants to do P25 to DMR someday. Awesome. Let's do it. That's on the to-do list. If I could get these three to stay working for more than five minutes, we'd do that. But P25 to DMR. If you want to use um, Alabama Link supports that. Absolutely. Um, and it's 31010. Um, and that is the P25 talk group. That is the DMR talk group. I think that's the Fusion talk group. And I cannot remember the D-Star one. It's also the NXDN talk group. KN4YCD, K5YVY. Is Sophie the cat? Is that the name of the cat? Yeah. You know, I was just noticing. This is totally off what they're doing but uh, we're at 1.9 you guys need to subscribe if you haven't already there just because yeah. you subscribe to our each of our channels doesn't mean you subscribe to coffee and ham radios k and four ycd alpha delta six delta mic chuck is right and yeah look at that, that br that thumbs up too guys john crook thank you is probably rebooting it that fixed it more than anything else hey john We should see if we can get John under one contract and retainer contract. to keep this thing running. I think it's going to cost more likes and subscribes. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Or super chats. Jeez, come on, guys. This is, I mean, you know, normally you have to pay a whole lot more to get this kind of entertainment and value. <laughs> and value. And uh, value. The important part. John, are you Jason. testing all three simultaneously? You just call me, bro. What the hell? Vern, I would get the open spot from Shark RF, but uh, I'm a cheap bastard, so I just built my own with China parts off AliExpress and eBay. And it you is, can see that uh, his isn't plugged in, so. It works right. fine. I don't got nobody to talk to. The, um, the open Call spot is awesome. That's what I have in my truck. Listen, it has a great interface. Um, the PyStar interface is somewhere around 1999. Um, the open spot interface is very swank and it does a lot more stuff and since they've come out with the four i don't know if they're still making threes or not but they have two Dallas models of fours for they're about 300 bucks yeah they're, well there's two models on the four so Sausalito. one of them is the oh, pro and it's Sausalito near me it's more Sausalito. Oh. Sausalito Steve hey, Steve. Is, uh, 
Sausalito Thank you, Steve. Right across Somebody's got to play that janky music. Matter Vern, fact, thank I you, Dennis. I, I rode through the other day on the Harley. Vern, the open spot, there's two models of them. The, adva the pro model does transcoding, so it does... That was a little slower than I thought. DMR and all that. The, um, I was dancing, but the you couldn't see me. Lower end model does not do the transcoding, and unless you want to transcode <laughs> at your radio for some reason, I'd get the regular one. Oh, open spots what I need. It does it automatic. Adjust the offset. Yes, it does. Well, there you go. Yeah, the open spot is the open spot is very nice. It's also a whole lot pricier. Now the other option is if you're going to be doing this at a computer and not mobile anywhere, you can go on Amazon. Yeah, I'm getting Oops, them on both. Came in. Um, you can go on Amazon and get the uh, R-Sync hat, the MMDVM hat, and I did a video on that. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> and hook it up and do it. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Appreciate that. Um, you can hook it up straight up to your computer and use it that way. But your 8.3 is back there, Playboy. Look. What's, what is the... Uh... HR also has really? like Don. Thank you, Don. Thanks, Don. More Sophie and less know. Jim. I can agree with that. Sophie, the star of the show. Yeah, her butt's way better than his. K and four Y C D A D. Get the music going. <laughs> so it's my receive offset that's jacked up because my transmit was fine. Oh, so you're gonna have to do something on this thing here. Thank you, yeah, Don. So I heard Dennis. I heard you really well. Another one is uh, D Star says D Star. I'm um, Zoom Spot Zoom Radio. Now see, ben, Zoom Dennis spot. was fine that time. Dennis, key up again and say something incredibly awesome. Hey Jim, AD six DM here. Coffee and ham radios is full of nerds. <laughs> Thank you, true. He must be talking about this. See, see that you were saying your receive, your receive is messed up, but that looked fine. Yeah, that's fine now. I don't know, Ape. Unless this was... Let's see what... This is Raphael. Raphael, I didn't hear any voice. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Darren. He's laughing at us on the ground. Oh, Darren, awesome. Darren super okay. sticker. And Raphael came in clear. Perfect. Oh, we got Jim dancing now. I'm not sure what I call that dancing. It looks like he's having a stroke. <laughs> it could be. Listen, let me get the video of you dancing. Hey, I'm good, man. Uh, yeah, well, I thought uh, you uh, maybe pooped your pants when you were doing that. You're like, oh, God, I think one fell out. I'm a, I'm a, I may have. <laughs> so Dennis, did, Dennis did, is on an open spot me. three. <clears throat> yeah, open spot is great. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the easiest Phil ones, right? Philip saying that he's not hearing it on the DMR side. Sam, I get, I hear nothing from you. Don is going to Pota. Radio didn't keep, keep an either. eye on uh, Pota.us for for the for the Donald. You will be out there. Uh, nice. Doing his thing, Donald. I will look for you. <laughs> and when I see you, I will not make a contact. K and four Y C D <laughs> DMR to D star <laughs> testing one two three four DMR to D star testing. Yeah, see it. See it shows me keying up, but I'm not getting any audio. And there you are at an 8.3 8, 8 again. Yeah. John is saying oh. that your display is, is what the hotspot is receiving, so your offset needs to be tweaked and twerked. K and 4 YCD, D star to DMR test, 1, 2, 3, 4. And see, DMR is not picking it up at all. And Matt said he heard somebody loud and clear on DMR. It did pick it up. You're right there, son. You're looking at a D-Star hotspot. I'm talking about the DMR uh, side. I got you. Sam heard you also. Yeah, see, Sam's, Sam, are you talking on DMR? Yeah, heard me that time on DMR. Don, what, what bands, Don? S Sam, go ahead and key up on DMR again. Okay, there was Richard, but only on D-Star. So, yeah, that's all the transcode stuff is not working. Hmm. 20 meters. 20 All right. Meters. Actually, there's no S on that. T.O. Right? yet another project. Yes, sir. Well, I think that you're probably right. Let's collapse it all onto the same server and see yeah. what the... 
Yeah, Dennis originally, I think he had somebody who could colo it all, and I think his stuff is all coloed in a facility. I could probably colo it at my office. Ain't nobody there smart enough to know, but. But you're saying that the internet is not an issue at your at your QTH, so we shouldn't need to do that. Then, no, right? I got I got one gig down and forty meg up. Internet bandwidth ain't a problem, and it's just me and the old lady here ninety percent of the time. So, and even when the kids here, I mean, it's three people streaming on a one gig connection. You should be fine. It's fine. So it's not it's not internet bandwidth, but it could be latency across the internet between my house and DigitalOcean. I, you know, I don't know. I'm running it on a Raspberry Pi 2 because I don't love you guys enough to freely let you run it on a Raspberry Pi 4. Right, that's sitting on the shelf. Right? That's right. I'm holding. That's primo stuff, man. I'm giving you the, I'm giving Thank you, you the Raven. slow stuff. Raven! Thanks, Raven. Awesome. Five, five, so six. that's she something I could up. do is try and move it to a, and I, that's on my to-do list as well, and I may get to it today. I might just pop it over to a 4 and see if it smooths <laughs> out. All you exactly gotta do is just Marvin. move the card, right? Yeah, yeah, and the dongle. And keep, and keep it going because we know we got Marvin in here. Marvin, yeah. Marvin. That's Marvin. right. It's about time, y'all. Thank you. Ape dance. Yeah, <laughs> right. He was going. <laughs> there we go. Time. I was dancing, son. Would you, you need to clean them sunglasses? Oh, plasma. All right, plasma. Monkey boy three. <laughs> Monkey boy three. <laughs> Boy. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much. You said you need I that turned AWS my radios paper. off, Sam. Sam, it's really extremely hard to talk on these radios and on the stream at the same time because the timing is off. <coughs> yeah. So it's. Liberty, I still think I'm going to owe you some money if we do that, tri that Pi Zero trade. Yeah, I don't know. Zero that. trade. What do we got going on here? He wants to trade the a Pi Zero for the Elecraft. <laughs> Which Elecraft? I'd hold out for a four. Broke? The one I broke, yeah. I broke. <laughs> is that a zero two W or is he trying to give get rid of his old Ganky zero? I mean, infotainment, you know. James. Thank you very much, James. James. Thank you, James. I'm fixing a sneeze. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jim says I can't dance like that. <laughs> I'm here. There's like only I one danceable have, song in here. I may have woke the wife up with that uh, heat gun. I wasn't thinking. I don't know about this. I have to get the soundboard working. I, you know what? I, I realized the, I have to go back to go, but I think the back of my what soundboard has a um, what is that? The three eighths connector on the back of it, so I could put oh, it on the, like a reticulated arm, and that would yes. be awesome because it would be off my desk, and I would have plenty of space for it. What are you using for your soundboard? An iPad or something? Or no, just use the. Well, I mean, I have a window open to my instance, and then I just pipe that through the His okay through the Mackie Pro FX, um, whatever, 10, 10, 2, 2, 10, something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, if only we had if only we had um, stream decks that we could. Weren't you uh, guys working on use. that? I've got one around here, but the problem is, is it generates a shitload of RF, like to the point where like I can't use my choke microphone. it, choke it, son. It's, it's all wired. Well, it goes in the USB. I take it back. I mean, it messes you up on stream? It's throwing out that much RF? My microphone picks it up. Really? Mm. Hmm. Two w <laughs> Liberty said it is a 2W. He's not trying to, not trying to, to cheat you, okay. Steve. <laughs> I still might owe him some money. I don't know. <laughs> right. Plasma's got a Pi hotspot from Arsync that he will trade for an FT70D. Are you going to throw in that uh, Anytone radio too? How much is the Pi hotspot from Arsync? 170. Um, I've got I one believe. sitting over here. Brand new in box. I have an FT70D I don't use, but I don't really want yet another hotspot. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> my FT, my FT3 why would you trade a radio charging. that you never use for a hotspot that you would never use? Correct, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to hold the radio until I get something maybe I'll use. Right? Hey, Sorry. Have you noticed your, your 5D needs to be charged all the time? My, my 3D has been charging since we started. Uh-uh. I, I had noticed I it, but I, I haven't used it in a while the, either. I bet you I need to disconnect the battery because it has, it has memory stuff in it, I think, right? 
Yeah, but that's going to be an NV RAM. Not that shouldn't be sucking the battery down. I don't know, man. Or Do you have GPS turned on on it? It probably does. Yeah, I think. Or does. APRS because some of that may be part of it. Yeah. Which I don't have charging. either one it's turned on for an hour and almost an hour and a half now. So. Well, I mean, is it? So it's not showing that it's charged yet. I don't remember what a full cycle takes. No. What does your battery uh, show not, when you check the battery? And I am using the uh, charging stand, which is supposedly faster, right? Not just the plug-in. Hmm. Yeah, I got a couple three batteries. John said if you're using the wall wart, it is overnight. Yeah, I'm not using it's 7.8 volts right now, so it's close, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah John, I, I we made stream decks. Ape and I Thump helped us. Uh, Chuck, did you, you made one too, didn't you? He did. But we have yeah. not. Um, well, is that this? Not thing? used them yet. So I'm gonna do that today. Is that this? Because I could use it. Yes. Yep. I didn't finish mine because mine had a broken screen. Remember, and I got the new screen. Just haven't put it in. Okay. You have two spot hot spots. They ordered one and they sent you two. <laughs> Good for you, son. That's awesome. Oh, damn it. Yeah, Zoom Spot. That's the one that uh, HRR sells. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. This and honestly, been... what's funny is if you buy like the R-Sync hotspot, um, those sell for, what did you say, Plasma? You looked it up. I know, 179 That's probably cheaper than trying to buy a Raspberry Pi and build one at this point. Because I think the, the MMDVM board is probably about... 60 bucks, I think. And then a Pi Zero, if you can get one, I don't even know what they're going for. Probably 80 or 100 if you can find somebody to sell you one. The Pi you Zero's FTA, going right? for 100 bucks. Not right now, the no. T the two W's, oh. you can't find anybody to buy to sell you one. Dang, I bought a couple when they OPX were 15. I'm just wondering. I'll have to go see what I got. Colin, oh, nice. He's Darren says 80 bucks. Is that for a Zero 2W? Darren? <laughs> Apes James. Alert, DMR. <laughs> oh, well, that was a power. I think, up, uh, right? I think Phil's right. <sighs> well, folks, we I think we're, we we ran to the end of the day here. Ape, you're going out to the uh, the farmer's market later today, right? I don't know if I'm going to be going. To, my, my wife wants to go for a walk at the park, so I could take a page out of your book and just say, well, tell me how it was. Um, yeah, I think you'll I... enjoy that, hun. Beautiful day out. <laughs> yeah, it so sounds sure fun. It'll go over well. <laughs> right. <laughs> just saying. But I think I gotta go. Well. But then uh, I gotta. I'm thinking tacos. I want to get some. I want to do some tacos. tacos. Yeah, nice. Some taco oh, eating. Gary. Gary wants to know how to. I guess get his IC ninety one hundred and his seventy one hundred to work. Did you? He hates digital. I don't know what he's talking about. Why? And and so are you helping him with that? I'm not. I just that's the first I've seen of it. <laughs> I know that because uh, you ate I did, digital I too. I did get my I did get my eight fifty seven to work after hours. Did you FT eight on your eight fifty seven? Yeah, it was the first the first uh, thing I had was I forget what the brand that was. It it, it was confusing and that, and then I got the, uh, the little silver box one. I forget what that one is. It worked a lot better. Did I'm you sure rig? No, not uh, not, not silver rig. It's a uh, I don't even know what thing is. Yes. Yeah, that's the other one. I can't think of the name either. Then I went to my 991. It was just way easier. But uh, yeah, like, that the, James, that radio is too old. The ICOM 706 Mark II G does not do D Star. You need a, no. a radio that's got the D Star codec in it. I don't even know what the oldest D Star radio is you can get. But uh, there's some Kenwood models and there's some ICOM models that have it <clears> baked <throat> in. And uh, 7100 is probably the oldest ICOM. The right? oldest, the, the oldest um, HF. I would think it's a 7100. Isn't that Steve? Yeah. Didn't didn't you just get one? No, no. I was just teasing uh, KO4 AFL. If you guys are looking for a couple oh. of sweet deals on radios, uh, Steve, KO4 AFL in the Toads Discord under the Swap Meet section has an IC7100 for sale. I along with a that. tuner. No. I thought he did too. He was screwing with us, man. No, I was screwing with everybody. I bought too many radios this month. I've been I've been told to pump the brakes a bit. So Luckily, there's you only, only bought, a couple more days left. You only bought one radio. No, nah, no. Nah, I bought three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. Which three? he's got the K oh, it, the K the KX. 
Are you yeah. go to the K2, right? The K2. K2. Yep. Yep. I got you a, I got a mobile one. I got a G90. Oh, I forgot the G90. I and I got a, a G90. And I got an 818. No, that was Leah's G90. But I thought you got another G90. And that wasn't this month, was it? That yeah, was that was this month. month. It was this month. It's been a long month. <laughs> it must have been. All right, and then what else? You got the G90, the K2. And the 818. The 818. Yeah, I picked no, up a sweet you got deal a third on the 818. One. What's that? And you got that ancient. You got four radios then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got the ICOM, I got the ICOM 22S. It was $25. That one don't count. It's like 106 years old. He has to click yeah. the dial to tune it. It's I got to change diodes to change to change frequencies inside of the same band. I, I got to open the radio right. up to go from 146 to 147. Right. Chris hmm. has his built-in pan adapter on his 7100. Yeah, he was telling me about that. Soon. That's cool. I I bought a 9700 yesterday, and it's supposed to be here Tuesday. So I'm getting an antenna set up today <clears> or tomorrow <throat> for that. Yeah, you wait. We gotta run coax. No, you ain't. Yeah, I am. Yeah, no, I am. you ain't. I am. I are. Who I'm gonna be to one sweaty a... old man, but I'm gonna oh, do I it. Should take, take I up should a take my. Uh, what take antenna a are you gonna put up? I got a discone. A discone. Yeah, That's disco. what I'm starting with for satellite. What and disco? two meter. I, whatever I that one is, I'm we've gonna... talked about. That's about sixty or eighty bucks. I don't remember. Hmm. I bought that thing like. A month ago, I haven't done anything with it yet. Good on you, Vern. I'm glad to hear it. Somebody finally, somebody else around here finally seen the way. Awesome. Well, I know uh, Yusuf's got a good deal on his for sale right now. Metro Atlanta is unloading his. his I think discovery. he might have, he might have drank something he shouldn't have been drinking because he was talking crazy. Oh, he, he traded he up. Said, he got an yeah. X6100 and he's 86 yep. in that Discovery. He said radio. he traded up. That he'll rue the day he made that decision. He rue it, I tell over, you. He said the front end overload in that Discovery was horrible. Stop. He looked at that thing sideways. Stop. Man. Just, you can't see the screen in daylight. He got his a little yeah, wet, it's, and it started going I mean, if crazy. If you want to operate at night or something, you know. He must have m mixed up his medicine or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> John, turn your phone on because I may be calling you in a few minutes. i got to talk to you about something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, we better go. This deal is gonna, about to go down, man. And I have a 706. And I have to get on the road. Anyhow. I have a 706 available for sale. I'm hoping 706 Carlos flat buys it. Mark two, Mark two G, flat. 706 flat. Just a six flat. Neat nice. on the rocks. So neat or, neat. or UHF, whichever one it is. In VHF only. Am I VHF. still on the bottle? No. Yeah. Hey, we appreciate everybody joining us this morning. Yeah, yeah it was great you. having y'all here. Don't, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We're a little low on that one today. John, I want to talk to you about your reflector setup. If you're going to multi, all right, it, man. Hitting the button, everybody.